Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley, guys. It is the last day of summer here. And we're going to be checking stuff out on the TVs as per usual. So, quick note about this particular episode. I'm actually post-commentating this one. And part of the reason for that is because, well, I mean, I recorded commentary originally for it, but for some reason I forgot to export the commentary and I couldn't get it back in Audacity. So I'm not going to have too much control over what happens in this video, but I did go ahead and cut it up so that we could just kind of get to the point here. So there might be times when I just talk right over cuts and it seems totally seamless where it shouldn't, but... Yeah, so that's where we're at there right now. I don't remember what I was doing in the fridge. Here's my mail from Joja because I passed out last night. Actually, no, that's the... Oh, wait a minute. Am I getting my videos mixed up here? That was from Demetrius about the thing. The luau. Not the luau, but the, the moonlight jelly dance. Which I ended up not going to, actually. Ugh, I, I'm gonna have to stop doing that, though, talking about things that happen in the future. You see the meteor over there that hit. The meteorite, rather. So I kind of walked up to it and I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do with it. I thought maybe I hit it with the axe, like the big crops, but no. Then eventually, of course, I figured out... <laughs> You do what you do with any rock. You mine it. You hit it with a pickaxe, rather. So that dropped a little bit of iridium there. It was nice. I almost kind of wish I had just left it there. You know, as decoration. Because I was lucky it didn't actually land on any of my crops. You know, because it could have done that. I'm picking up the last of the tomatoes there, doing the fish, eating the spicy eel. The usual stuff. So, what is, so was this the day where I just went mining then? Because I'm pretty sure I cut most of that mining trip out. Like, I kept the first three floors, and then it was just like, whatever, I just threw out the rest of it. Because nothing really happened. I found some iridium, it's like six iridium. I found a nice little deposit of gold here. But yeah, otherwise, not a whole lot happened here. How much gold was that? I can't read the number from here. Not in that little Sony Vegas preview window, I sure can't. Anyway, yeah, it started out fine. It wasn't that bad getting down to floors. It was just, I don't know, just kept getting ambushed by monsters. I almost died a couple times. Then I had to keep stopping and eating, you know, and eating spicy eels and whatever else. And of course, once again, I forgot to bring the stone with me to make staircases, and I forgot to bring the farm totem to warp home, so. All in all, maybe it was just doomed to fail from the beginning, I don't know. Did get a couple diamonds there. Not that it really matters. Yeah, so the cut's coming up here pretty soon. Yeah, I just wanted to get that hole, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it's different editing a video without commentary as opposed to editing one with commentary. So here I was just showing what all I picked up in the trip. Yeah, the topaz there. It's the usual stuff. Okay, why did I keep all this in? All I'm doing is putting stuff away here. I must have gotten distracted and went and did something, and I was like, oh, but I have to show this part, and I don't want to cut too many times. Well, I did have to go to bed, because I just ran out of time. So there it is. There's our first day right there. Done already. And this is it, day one of fall. I don't know, didn't I move that bear back eventually? Yeah, I did, right here. I didn't catch on until later that he was going to be blocking me from the bed where, where the, in the place where I put him. But eventually I figured it out. I don't think I ever moved him, though. So, let's check out the TV. What do we got? Oh yeah, we get different weather reports in fall. So even when it's, you know, even when it's not sunny, it basically still is. But it's not going to matter. As long as we place our sprinklers right, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I don't think it'd be probably Leo. Oh yeah, I got the rare seeds. Okay, I never planted the rare seed yet. Let's see, as where I'm talking right now from the future, having finished day two of fall, I haven't planted the rare seeds yet. I need to do that. I still have space for them, believe it or not. Like somehow I managed to not fill out the entire field. So I went ahead and made my little rainbow with the crystallariums here. But as you'll see later, the stones do take different amounts of time to process. So, that's a thing. But hey. I mean, whatever. It's nice for decoration, if nothing else. 
So I got the animals done. I had to come over here and clear out my old land. So this was... It's funny how this keep, seems to keep happening. You know, on the first day of a new season, I keep doing recording mishaps. And even still, it wasn't a recording mishap. It's just I forgot to export it. And of course, the way Audacity works, if you record something, you don't export it. Unless you save it, which I never do. Because I have no use for it once I've exported it. I just always assume that I'm going to export it, and I guess I just didn't. So I decided to clear out the crystal path here. So maybe we could, you know, get something a little different out here, because I was getting kind of tired of it. No, I thought, I thought it looked cool at first. Okay, why am I running over here? To chop up that one piece of wood, that's why I'm running? Wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh, I know what I was doing here. Because, um, remember how in summer I messed up and forgot to buy seeds? And I looked and it was like 5.30, so I started the day over. I don't think I actually showed that because that was part of the recording that failed. Well, this time I wasn't going to make that same mistake. So I decided to just stop what I was doing and run into town and get the seeds now before I had a chance to forget. So that's what I'm doing here. I hemmed and hawed for a long time here about what to buy. But I ended up just picking up mostly pumpkins more than anything. I did get some other stuff, but, you know. So I got a little bit of corn. I'm not even sure why, maybe for recipes or something, or just for the sake of having something different out there. Ultimately, in the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I still have stuff that I planted last season still sitting in my fridge that I just never used. Cranberries are interesting because, like, they're really good, but they're also the seeds are really expensive. And so what you can actually do, though, if you want to, which I don't know if it's worth the trouble, honestly, but, um, here goes my hoe, not picking up the crystal path here. Um, you can take the cranberries and just turn them back into seeds with seed makers and then sell the seeds. Because you'll get so many cranberries that you'll end up with like twice as many seeds as what you started with or something. I don't know the exact numbers. But, um, that's the thing you could do, but to me it's like, well, if you're going to have to be standing there in front of the seed maker that whole time. Or going back and forth to it, you know, for every single seed, or for every single cranberry that you put in there, and you're going to be putting hundreds of them in there. So I don't know if that's worth it, really, but... So, decided to put my scarecrow out there. It's only going to cover so much land there, but it's better than not having anything. And it's better than filling the thing up with crops and then coming back later like, oh no, I'm going to have to destroy one of these to put a scarecrow in here. Thank goodness, you know, that the greenhouse plants aren't susceptible to being scarecrowed. Or just crowed. I'm not really sure why I did this. It's like, I basically just cleared out every single piece of land that I could up here. It's like, I may have been a little overzealous, and this cost me a lot of time doing this. So, in retrospect, if I could do it over, I would definitely not do that. Something weirdly satisfying about watching me fill in these squares, though. So that's kind of why I left this little part in. Just showing myself filling the rest of it in. It was fun. But as you can see, it's already getting up to nighttime here. And I haven't, like, planted the seeds. I haven't fertilized. I haven't placed the sprinklers. So it's like I have all that to do just in the next few hours here. Or in real time, it's probably like the next few minutes, but... Yeah, well, hmm, all right, so we got the watering done, and then I was like, okay, time to put the fertilizer down. So, so my plan was, okay, what am I doing here? Did I go back to get the fish to make more fertilizer? Yeah, that's what I did. Figured I might as well, since I'm doing the fertilizing, might as well make all the fish at once here, or make all the fertilizer at once. So, so this took some time, too, because I had to come over here and do this. So I made the fertilizer, added it to my stock, put it, put whatever away there, grabbed the pine tar, put that away. It's just like, maybe I should have just let it be, I just let it sit there, all that other stuff. So here I start putting the sprinklers down, but because of how weird the land is up there, I had to be careful. So I wasn't able to cover every square, maybe. Once you get down to the wide open part, then it's easy. All you gotta do is just count five squares over for each one. Of course, then you have, like, the edge here, so I had to cover for that. I had to put one here for that. <laughs> it's 
So then eventually I ran out of sprinklers, so I had to go make some more, and I was like, oh. I feel like that probably ended up taking more time than anything else. So then I wasn't sure here, because, like, you know, it's always a battle between whether you want the sprinklers to... I wouldn't, I mean, I just don't know what I was really doing here as far as... It's like you want to cover all the squares up to the edge, but you also don't want the sprinklers to look... You want them to be, like, flush with each other, you know, in straight rows, rather than spread out the way they are in the top right corner up here. So I started putting this fertilizer down, but then something occurred to me about halfway into it, and I stopped. And the thing that occurred to me was, well, all I'm doing is planting pumpkins over here. I'm going to be juicing the pumpkins, and quality does not affect how much the pumpkin juice or wine or whatever or jelly, the quality doesn't affect how much that is worth. So me putting fertilizer over here was ultimately pointless. And sure, I could have changed my mind and planted the other stuff over here, but I didn't really want to do that. Because I wanted to do like before and have all the stuff that takes the longest to grow out of the way, to where I wouldn't have to walk away over and get to it. So like, ideally you would want to plant the pumpkins in the unfertilized squares, plant everything else in the fertilized squares, but because of how the fertilizer was arranged around the field, I couldn't exactly do that. It would have been messy. It just would have looked messy and it wouldn't have been worth the time. And there it is, I passed out while planting pumpkins. So, got as much done as I could, but I think I may have bitten off a little more than I could chew there. It's funny because all the time I see these people with these farms that are just like little squares with paths between them. <laughs> And I wonder why they don't just fill up the entire field. Why do they keep building grids of paths through? And it's like, well, maybe this is why. Because you just don't have enough time to support an entire field. So here's where I took the ancient fruit and started putting it in the preserves jars. Just because I could, I guess. <laughs> Some people in the comments were saying the star fruit was just about as good as ancient fruit. And it's worth putting star fruit into the greenhouse. So, I may yet still do that, I don't know. It's hard for me mentally to like, take down a plant once I planted it. But maybe... And you can't exactly get a second greenhouse, so that thing's too valuable. But by the same token, you want to make as much of it as you can because you only have one. So there's our next- that's the Joja build that I was talking about at the beginning where I screwed up. Had my days mixed up. So here I am putting... Yeah, oh, okay, this is where I pointed out the thing with those crystallariums where they were off sync. Because the stones take different amounts of time to process. So I guess it's either just let the rainbow fill up and then... Oh, there's my apples. Yeah. Also got pomegranates here. So that'll be good for Elliot. So then I was like, well, do I want to take those over there? And then, and then I discovered, you know, by leaving this open overnight, that all this land became untilled, so I had to go back through and hoe it up again and water it. So that was a little irritating. But hey, it's the price you pay for being successful, I tell you. <laughs> In the words of Lando. Speaking of, uh... Okay, so it's prequel memes when you're referring to the prequels, and it's sequel memes when you're referring to 7 and 8. Then what are just regular old Star Wars memes called... I guess they're just called Star Wars memes, I don't know. I probably do more Star Wars memes than I really need to do. I mean, I just did hello there in the last video. Or, well, second, well, second video back for you. Then I started going crazy here, I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna plant these as fast as I can. And I realized that wasn't really working, so I'm just like, okay, whatever. But yeah, eventually I did fill this entire thing out. Well, I didn't plant those two squares up there, I said screw it by that point. I wasn't going to plant a whole sprinkler for two more squares. Even though I probably could have. So there it is, pumpkin field is full. And watered, and we don't ever have to think about it again. So here I am building a fence around it now. I got a bunch of hardwood together and just said, okay, let's do this. I like the way the hardwood fences look, they're cool. I'm kind of screwed up here. Fortunately, they're very fixable. Yeah, I guess if I ever want to come over here and get the hardwood from these stumps, though, I'm gonna have to build a gate on that side of it. 
Otherwise, I'm going to end up walking all the way around every time. Of course, at the same time, I don't know if you're going to want to walk through the middle of the field, either. That slows you down. It might just be just as quick to do whatever. So, Tuesday the 2nd. Today is Penny's birthday, and fortunately, I remembered it. With all that was going on in my life, I managed to remember Penny's birthday. So, I decided to take a break from all that action and come over here and give her her gift. Someone else in the comments did say something about, to the effect of that, that even though I, personally, as the player, was kind of gunning towards Emily, it seemed like my character was, uh, kind of had the hots for Penny. And you know what's funny about this? Like, Penny has actually sort of entered my mind as, like, a third place possibility behind Emily and Abigail. So, I don't know. I guess at this point anything could happen. I don't know. I like Penny a lot. She's cool. I like teachers. One of my first crushes in high school was one of my teachers. Spanish teacher. Huh. Enough about that, though. I don't know if we've gotten to that part of the tapes yet. Like, so here we are now trying to water this side of the field, but now we're running out of time on the second day, so... Uh, <laughs> that was me blowing my nose. It might sound like farts to you, but... Oh yeah, and then I had to run all the way over here to put a scarecrow in because I was paranoid. And then I came back over here to water the rest of this. And then fertilize it, yeah. But by that point, I mean, it's already 12.30 here, so... You know, and then there's the issue of, well, me deciding what seeds I'm going to put out here. So I just kind of started scattering the fertilizer wherever I could until it was all gone. And then, of course, the seeds themselves. Start putting cranberries all across here. I was trying as hard as I could not to be too messy about it, but... But I didn't realize I was running out at that point, so the last few... That I thought were going to be surrounded by just more cranberries so it wouldn't look so dumb. So I took the grapes and just ran them down this way. Threw some pumpkins over here. Once again, just trying to get out as many as I could in the little bit of time I had left here. And then I had some corn, I kind of just ran that up the right side here. Kind of like I did with the hops last time. Except I just did on the right side. Not a big deal. And I think that's about all we get done. Yeah, I just kind of rushed into the house because I didn't want that 1,000G bonus. Still, things weren't synced yet. Oh, man. It's a lot harder to commentate this in post than it is to do it as you're playing. But <laughs> Because I don't know what I'm about to do in the game, so it's kind of hard to just say, Oh, well, I'm about to do this right now. Or... Okay, so what was I doing here? I was probably talking. Oh, here's where I was talking about that thing that I, was, that I mentioned earlier about people's farms. Now I always see people making their farms into little square, like squaring them off into sections rather than just filling up the whole field. And once again, now, you know, having, having spent two days on this, I can see now maybe why people would do that. Because you do get to a certain point where the money just doesn't matter anymore. Anyway, that's about it for the video, so hopefully next time on Stardew Valley we will be live once again. But till then, see you guys later.